Good morning. Okay, so right now we are on our way to Monterey Car Week. We are leaving the hotel at Santa Cruz. Now, if you are very confused at why we're starting here, you might have missed the last video, which is where the guys kind of figured out how to fix my car and they want a free trip to Monterey. So this was kind of really unplanned. Was not necessarily expecting them to kind of complete the car build in time, um, but we bought the plane tickets. We landed in Santa Cruz last night or San Francisco. Got to the hotel in Santa Cruz and we're about 47 minutes out uh, from Monterey. So we are going to check out what they have to offer. I heard this is like by far one of the most exclusive legendary events that can exist. And we're gonna hit all the landmarks on the way there so you guys will see that. But I'm super excited to get started. So cue the montage. So we are just pulling into Monterey. As you can see up ahead there, there's a Mercedes 300 SL, which is already like a multi-million dollar car. Um, and this town is just oozing with money. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. We're not even in like the heart of Monterey. We gotta find all the events. We passed a few trailers back there. This is just absolutely insane from here. I'm so excited to kick off this week and I hope you guys are too. With yesterday we were at the other wharf. I don't even know what a wharf is, so if you know, comment down below. But all you hear is seals, and we found all the seals yesterday on the different pier at Santa Monica. These are just whoa! What? These seals crack me up so much. <laughs> I don't think this is cars. My bad. <laughs> we got a little sidetracked. Got a little bit sidetracked. This is my 2023 Rolls Royce Wraith that I just picked up the other day. Today we are on our way to Monterey Car Week and that's our car. <laughs> <laughs> that's what? cool. That's awesome. I can't believe there's a real AC. Here, let's. That's Bonnie and Clyde right there. That's crazy. All the cars just pulled in down there, so <laughs> I am so excited to see this. I'm actually so pumped to see the Le Mans uh, Porsche. We just saw it pull in back there. Um, in front of the highway patrol who was escorting all these cars into here. So the Le Mans Porsche should be theoretically up there, but er, it is up there, but. There also is an F1 car somewhere too. Oh, no, I think, I thought that was an Indy car. Oh, maybe, a, it might have an Indy car. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Classic Stingray. So I've always wanted to do a side pipe like that on my car, but my only concern has been like burning my leg every time I get out and also how to get the piping right. Look at the I'm inch. trying to figure out how they have this thing mounted because like, it's, is it really just like stuck out? Like, yeah, it's just stuck out. There's wow. no mounts on the side of the car. Also look at the interior. This is a full race car. I mean, the, the crazy thing is, is like, this thing is still like fast by, by today's standards. What's even crazier than this car is honestly, the Le Mans Porsche right there that was the same style of Le Mans cars that were in like Ford versus Ferrari, that kind of era of Le Mans cars which is just absolutely insane. So you can see too, on the side, it has the P sticker, which is prototype. So this competed in the same class as like the Fords and Ferraris back in the day. Like on a completely real note here, could you imagine driving this thing, dude, for 24 hours? And that's the fuel tank right there. That is so incredibly dangerous on so many levels. Yeah, I can. Yes, yeah, so with a lot of race cars, like even today, like whenever you build a race car, you have to have um, like a sticker showing where the fire thing is and where the kill switch is. It's like part of uh, tech compliance. How is this thing dr to drive on like track and stuff? My wife calls it death on wheels. I raced in America back in uh, Sorry. 79. <laughs> There's a single seat can amp car. They put a different body on it. Yeah. We flew all the way out here from uh, Virginia to oh, come yeah. check out some of these cars. You want to sit in a Oh, I would love to. 
Wow, this is tight. Well in there. <laughs> I can't even get my leg down. Yeah, you gotta sort of kick your legs and that's it. Wow. This is so cool. And actually, how how you like? Does it feel? Is it pretty comfortable? Like, can I actually yeah. sit in there? My car is more uncomfortable than that car. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard him just mention. Did this race against James Hunt before he died? But he gave up Formula One. He came to Australia and raced this car and won. Yeah. Yes, he only went to Australia the once and raced the car. And that's awesome. Well, thank you for letting me sit in it. That was so cool. No worries. So if you don't know who James Hunt is, you got to watch the movie Rush on Netflix. That is like the coolest bucket list thing that I didn't even know was on my bucket list. I still can't get over that. I just sat in James Hunt's car. BMW bike. Oh my God. Okay, out of all the cars here, this wins. <laughs> I want one so bad. The main thing now that I'm excited for is probably in and out But first thing is we just kind of have to find the rental car, which yeah. I'm pretty sure is over there. So I don't know where the hell we're walking, but. Okay. Let's find the rental car first. I think we just pay at the gate, so that works out. Yeah. Him. Oh, for real? Zach Chen, look it up. Do not judge me on my burger order. <laughs> uh, can I just do a plain burger, nothing on it? Gas 76, please. Gas 76, please. Gas 77. For a plain ass burger, yeah. that's damn good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna enjoy our burgers, relax, and then head back to the hotel. This is Monterey Car Week, day one. I'll see you guys in day two.